Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and deploy a grid bot over on the Apex Decentralized Exchange. That's right, Apex, which is a decentralized exchange, has now rolled out their grid bot platform and it's free to use other than you do pay trading fees very similar to qcoin binance the big difference is apex is a decentralized exchange and thus you do not have to trust them with your money like you do with qcoin or binance or for example ftx which did shut down and people's funds were locked up in their accounts over on FTX. With Apex, since it is a decentralized exchange, you interact with the platform using like a MetaMask wallet and smart contracts. And so your money is actually being held in a smart contract that at any point in time you can cancel and get your funds back without relying on Apex to send you funds. Now, that's enough jaw jacking about that. Let's get one of these grid bots deployed over on the Apex Exchange. But before we get too far into the weeds on configuration and deployment of the grid bot over on Apex, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot operates, it's actually very simple. It buys low and sells high. And what you're looking for is choppy price action like you see on the chart here, so that when the price dips, the bot is buying at a lower price and when the price rips back up the bot is selling at a higher price and a grid bot is made up of a grid which actually represents open limit buy orders and open limit sell orders and those make up your grid so when the price goes down it takes out a buy order if you're going long and when the price rips back up it takes out these grid lines which are open limit sell orders. Now, depending on if you deployed a long or short grid bot, will determine when you actually are capturing profit. Obviously, if you went long when the price goes up and you're selling at a higher price, you're capturing profit. Now, on the flip side, if you deployed a bot to be short, then when the price goes down and takes out the buy orders, that is when you're capturing your profit. Now, with that all being said, there is the option to be neutral, and a neutral grid bot basically will open, sell, and buy orders, and then once the price moves in a direction, let's say the price goes down and starts hitting the buy orders, the bot is now opening long positions, and then when the price crosses back above the entry level that you deployed the bot at, then it starts selling and opening short positions, and that would be a neutral bot. But at the end of the day, a grid bot performs best in a choppy market, which right now Bitcoin is chopping in a range, and thus you want to deploy a grid bot in said choppy market and try to take advantage of these dips and rips. Now, if we jump over here to a four hour chart for Bitcoin USDT, you can see Bitcoin is basically trading within a zone. We've got our green and our red levels here. This is a new indicator that I will be releasing to my members in the near future. Uh, but it is an indicator that measures fear, which is the green level down here, and greed, which is the red level up here. And so you can see when Bitcoin moves into the greed or the red level it then tends to sell off down back into the fear level where you do start to see buyers step up and push the price back up in towards this greed level and then it rejects sells back off and right now it's kind of consolidating sideways and so Bitcoin is prime for another move either back down towards this fear level or back up towards the greed level and thus you might want to set your upper level and lower level based on this greed and fear so we see a kind of a high level of 67,000 and a low level down here around 56,000 and that might be where we decide to set our upper and lower limit levels so with that in mind let's jump over to apex and set up one of these grid bots all right 
So obviously you will need to have an Apex account and connect your MetaMask wallet to your Apex account. Now, if you don't already have an Apex account, I'll drop a link in the description down below. And I believe if you use my link to sign up for an account over at Apex, which is totally free, you'll get a small discount on your trading fees. And those trading fees do apply to your everyday standard trades and grid bot trades. Now, you will need to have some USDT funds available in your MetaMask wallet. I recommend using the Binance or BCS uh, network in MetaMask in order to avoid big fees when you're transferring funds back and forth. And I do have a video that I did showing you how to basically deposit and withdraw funds. Again, you're not truly depositing funds, you're creating a smart contract. I'll drop a link to that video in the description down below if you're new to this and want to check that out. I am not going to get into the weeds in this video on how to do that. This video is going to be long enough as it is. So once you have your wallet connected, you've deposited some funds. You can see down here I have available margin of 1500 I could click on the plus little button and that would allow me to deposit some more funds. But I think I'm good with 1500 for this purpose. Now I'm ready to set up the grid bot. I would come over here to the trade tab, click on that, click on grid bot. That would bring us over here to the grid bot configuration page. And I can set up either a long, short, or neutral grid bot. Regardless of what strategy I select, I do need that price range that we talked about earlier with a lower limit. I think we said around 56,000 and an upper limit. I think we said around, let's just do 67,000. And if we take a look at the chart, you can see on the four hour chart, the highest wick is up here around 65.5 and the lowest wick you can see some trading down here around 60,000 however if we check our six all the way back here we can see the price comes down into the 58,000 range so actually I'm going to make this 57,000 for my lower limit and 67,000 for my upper limit that should give the bot plenty of room to operate within and hopefully take advantage of the chop that Bitcoin is experiencing between these two levels next I need to determine my mode and quantity you can choose between a couple different modes we're just going to stick with the default right now and that basically determines on how the grid spacing is calculated whether it's on a percentage or an even number I'm not going to get into the weeds on that in this video. This is really just supposed to be a basic video on how to set up. If you want me to get more into the weeds on the difference between these two uh, settings for grid spacing, drop a comment down below and I'll consider doing a video on that. So now I am ready to select how many grids I want this bot to have. Let's say we go with 49 grids and you can see in neutral mode it deployed 49 buy and sell orders and in fact if I squeeze this down you can see there's 27 sell and 22 buy orders just based on current price on this chart and I can go as high as 100 orders and a minimum of two orders now the number of orders will determine your profit per grid space so again, we're going to shoot for that 49 number and you can see my profit per grid is 1.52 to 1.79%. Now my profit per grid can fluctuate because of the type or mode that I selected. If I select geometric, then the grid space is a fixed spacing amount. So for the sake of this video, we'll go with geometric. My grid profit per space is 1.65%. All right, so now we have our grid spacing, our profit per grids, 1.65%. We're ready to give this bot some ammo to go to battle with. And you can see the minimum amount I need to give this bot is 1,014. And that's based on the number of grids and the range that I set previously. Now, if I want this number to be lower, 
I can adjust how many grids I have for this bot. Let's drop that to 19. And now you can see the investment amount required will be 393 USDT, but my profit per grid has increased from 1.65 to 4.24%. And something to consider before you give this bot any ammo to go to battle with is you want to adjust your margin accordingly to your risk parameters. I'm going to leave mine at 5x. I think that's the default. And so in this case, this bot will have 5x leverage on any amount I put in here. And so if I put in, say, 500 USDT, you can see the total value of my position is actually going to be 2,500, which is my margin multiplied by the leverage. And that is obviously 5x leverage on 500 USDT is a value of 2,500. You can then see I have a liquidation price if the bot is long of 49.5 and an estimated liquidation price on the short side of around 73.8. Again, this bot is neutral, so it will be long or short depending on the price if it's above or below our deployment price. Now, if we decide to keep it simple and go long, same situation. If I give the bot 500 USDT, my total value is 2,500. The estimated liquidation price is still that 49,598. And that's actually a level I'm pretty comfortable with. I think if the Bitcoin bulls fail to hold the line and the bears get control of this price there is the possibility the price will hold at fifty thousand a break of fifty thousand and we're going to see a lot more pain than forty nine thousand there's going to be a whole lot of pain in the market so fifty thousand is a pretty good liquidation price also I monitor my bots. I would never let my bot get liquidated. That is a mistake only grunts make. Elite traders never get liquidated. They close their positions before getting liquidated. So that's enough jaw jacking about that. We are ready to actually deploy this bot. We have our lower limit at 57,000, our upper limit at 67,000. We have 19 grids, which create a profit per grid of 4.27%. That would be our grid spacing, the space between each one of these grids. And then we've given the bot 500 USDT to go to battle with, giving us a total value of 2,500 because of our 5X leverage and a liquidation price of 49.5. Now there are some advanced settings. I can set a trigger price or a start condition if I want the bot to wait before deployment based on a predetermined price, I can set a trigger price also, I can set a take profit or stop loss. However, I'm not going to do that for this video. So we're going to skip the advanced settings. Again, more than likely, there'll be a future video where I dive a little deeper into the weeds on configuration of these grid bots. So you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. But for now, we're just going to deploy this bot. So I just click create. It confirms that my price range is the price range, the number of grids, the mode is geometric, which is basically a fixed grid space. The invested margin is 500 USDT, so I have at risk 500 USDT. The take profit and stop loss prices I did not set, and I didn't set an open position on creation. It's not actually going to open any positions until it hits one of my grids. So now I can click confirm. It's creating the bot. The bot was successfully created. And now if we look down here at the bottom of the screen, you can see I have a BTC long 5x grid bot deployed with the price range 57,000 and 67,000 number of grids 19. The invested margin is 500 and you can see there's some grids on the chart and everything looks to be live and running and so i think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video we went through the steps on how to set up a grid bot over on apex which is a decentralized exchange and i will do an update video in the future on how this grid bot is performing so you might want to shoot that subscribe button 
so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Apex in the description down below. And so with that all being said, until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.